Primal Kaber Eater has driven far into enemy territory on his quest to destroy Chaos. But he has not accounted for a tribe of Spider Fangrots who have been stirred by his army. The Astral Templar find themselves outnumbered, but facing impossible odds has never scared off Hemelka Bear Eater. Hi, welcome to the Belligerent Duck. I'm Philip. I'm Tim. Hi, guys. <laughs> and we are playing Warhammer Age of Sigmar for you. And today it's going to be Stormcast Eternals, Astral Templars, against my spider rods. Yeah. And this is going to be a narrative battle report. So, match player, sorry, not today. We're going to tell the story. So, about the scenario, we are using uh, a scenario from the Generous Handbook 2017 and we slightly adapted it. Um, so, this is about defending two objectives it's this one and this one here. Um, in the end, the Stormcast Eternals um, will have to try and prevent the Grots from taking these objectives. That's the only way they can actually win. So, at the end of the game, if the uh, Grots control one of these objectives, like this objective for example, then they win a minor victory. If they control both of the objectives, then they win a major victory. Let's quickly show you what we are bringing. So these are my Stormcast Eternals, my Astral Templars. Let's start with the man himself. Um, this is Hamilka Bear Eater here with his Griffound, my Lord Castellant. And um, he's got a mystic light and it's the uh, Tempest of the Storm, I think it's called. So that within 12 inches, um, missile weapons that target a unit of Stormcast Eternals um, must reroll sixes. So that might hopefully help a little bit with all the missile, with all the shooting that comes in from the grots. Um, now we've got two units of liberators. We've got a five-man unit of liberators here. We've got a ten-man unit of liberators here. We've got a knight heralder here. We've got retributors here with one star soul mace. Um, then we've got this um, Knight Vexilar here. We've got the meteoritic, meteorite, meteorite, I don't know, something standard who can drop the meteorite, however. I've got a Lord uh, um, Knight Venator here. We've got one unit of Vanguard Raptors. And we've got hidden behind that wall there is the shadow. Better from here. So there is the Lord Relictor and he can blast weapons and then we've got these Judicators here. And um, there will be some reinforcements incoming from turn two but I won't show them to you now because it's a narrative gain and it will be a surprise. Hi guys. So I'm going to be playing the Scuttle Boss today. Um, he's going to be my general and he's going to have the command trait Monstrous Mount. So all his spider um, venom abilities will be double, uh, doing double mortal wounds. He will also have the artifact um, that within 12 inches all the spider fang venoms do mortal wounds on the 5 and 6 instead of just the 6 within 12 inches. Um, he will be supported today by the fungoid, uh, Chami. Um, he is a little bit slow so I have given him the artifact that he uh, gets plus 4 movement and can fly and I think it's called the Thermal Rider Cloak. The thermal right, so you can just keep up with the army. <laughs> um, and um, the third character in the army is the spider army on um, 
Ragnarok. On the uh, Ragnarok, mm -hmm. right? And Scuttling Terrors, you'll be able to make a one friendly uh, Spider Fang unit um, within 24 inches run, shoot, and or charge. Plus the fact I have the Endless Spells. Uh, Endless Spell from the Spanks. Nice. Lots of spiders everywhere. Got another big spider. I don't know a Ragnarok war party. They're really loud and making a lot of noise. Um, and then three units um, of spider cavalry. Um, a 30 a unit strong and two 15 units strong. Just on a quick note, um, I am playing a battalion. It's the Spider Rider Skittle Swarm. So that's the three units and the Scuttle Boss who um, will all have plus two on their movement. So they'll be moving 12 and the Scuttle Boss will be moving 10 inches. Okay, the spider apocalypse is about to begin here. So just to make it clear, we're not using match play rules, but um, we looked at points a little bit to see um, how much is on each side. I've got quite a few points uh, less than um, Tim here on this side, but it just makes narrative sense. And as I said, there will be some reinforcement in incoming, not many, but maybe decisive ones. And there is one special rule we added to this because uh, the spiders ignore terrain. Um, so we thought this uh, wall here should have um, some effect on the game. So. It, is, it has been blessed by the Lord Relicter and um, now these um, buildings here, these ruins um, are deadly but just for the spider fang rods. Meaning uh, that whenever uh, a unit of spider fang rods move um, within one inch of one of these ruins or just move away from it, whatever, any, any movement, they roll a die and on a one they suffer D3 mortal wounds. So they have to cross this year and uh, hopefully we'll roll a few once uh, so that I don't get swept away <laughs> by this. And uh, that's it. We will roll off for who gets to decide um, who gets the first turn. I think we have the same, same dice here. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a five. I won. I won. Okay, that means I'll let you take the first turn because if I take the first turn now, I have nothing to do. Okay, turn one for the uh, spider fang rods. So the moon is going to come from that side. This marker again is going to represent the moon and uh, doesn't mean it's not the endless spell. No. And in your hero phase, well, well, I'm gonna start off with, see if I get a command point from him. Uh, I do, on the four. I've changed my dice, I just got them. So they're green for the orcs, <laughs> so nobody can, can uh, complain about them that they, you cannot read them. Yes. I think he's going to try, yeah, sorry, he is going to do the endless spell. The mm -hmm. Spiders. The scuttle tide or something like scuttle that. Scuttle tide, yes. I just, um, it just needs to be close to a within six inches of a ruin or a piece of wood or some other woods. Yeah, under the cast, set up the scuttle tide model wholly within six inches of a terrain feature. Oh, oh, nice. You have a lot of terrain features. <laughs> uh oh, the scuttle tide is going to be here. <laughs> so I okay. get plus one, because um, he's uh, a spider grot. And we'll see, with a 10, it go 11. Okay. Through, unless you can ban it somehow. I don't have anything. I just have to take your magic. Take my magic. So, with wholly within six inches of a terrain feature. Hmm. I'm going to place it here. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, great. <laughs> I don't need to take uh, keep a distance from enemy troops. Mm -hmm. And once it is placed, here suddenly from a hole in the ground a lot of spiders come out and now the liberators are afflicted here by it so six dice after setting up and then i can move it and do the same again so on the five plus um i will take the liberators they will get mortal wounds 
and they get two more tolerance. That means one dies right away, and it's going to be this one here. First blood. Hello, they come. This time I'm going to hit him. The Judy Kingers. And that is just one more. Wound. That's one more wound, okay. Place it here. And now he's going to try and make them move uh, so they can uh, move, uh, shoot, or charge after a run. Okay. So that is a four. I don't think that goes for it. That's unfortunately a fail. Okay, um, I forgot to tell you that the fungoid uh, mushroom has the called Damun. That is um, a new uh, one that I found for myself because it doesn't have a range. You just need to see uh, the unit um, or the model to do D3 model wounds. Mm -hmm. It's hard cast. It's on the eight. We'll probably sees those liberators. I see the oh, liberators. This is, this is line of sight blocking. So yeah, so probably those see liberators I'll see. Those here, okay. So I'll just do those liberators okay. then. On the eight, it goes through with no, a double well. six. <laughs> uh, so they will get D3 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. A one. Okay. <laughs> and that is my hero face, I think. Okay, that's the hero phase. Let's go into movement and we come back to you after the movement phase. Okay, done with the movement phase. The scuttle tide, the whole uh, spider army has moved up here. These spiders ran up. The uh, fungoid cave shaman with his terminal rider, rider cloak flew up behind them. We've got the war cool party, party here. We've got the shaman here. Uh, the leader, the boss, here, and the big unit, and another unit here. Uh, yes, so that's how it looks like if the spiders move up one turn. So now we're going into shooting. What there is, is no shooting? There is no shooting because you ran everything. everything. And there will be no hand to hand combat. Yes. Okay, so that was the first turn for the spider fang. Now I'm going to go into Storm Castle Tunnels, turn one. Okay, hero phase for the Stormcast Eternals. So let's see if I get this right. First of all, I'm going to pray with him. I'm going to bless their weapons. That will happen on a four. I get a five. So weapons blessed. Then he's going to shine his light um, into them at them here. So they get plus one to their saves. And then I will also use the lightning, no, the, the healing storm on them. It goes off on a four and we'll try to heal one wound, which I don't. And um, okay, that's 24 inches, so I don't really get anywhere good. So I will spare the comet for now and uh, maybe use it another turn. And um, I think that's it for the hero phase. Let's go into movement and then shooting, very important phase. So these liberators here have uh, gone, moved forward to um, go into the gap and try to block out these uh, grots here. The retributors here moved ahead a little bit. The venator moved here so he can unleash his fire into the spiders. A little bit of a character shuffle here in the middle. I'm Bit, uh, unsure what I'm going to do, but well, uh, the relictor went back, the raptors went here, they also moved ahead a little bit so they can take all the monsters head on, and uh, they have moved a little bit away from the scuttle tide. Let's see at what 
they can shoot. And that's it. Let's fire some arrows. Okay, because of uh, this terrain here, I can see everything. So these five judicators here are going to fire into them. And these five judicators are going to fire into them. So let's do the prime into them first. He's hitting on a two. He hits, okay, and then the four others hitting on threes. Okay, they hit. How many hits does the prime score? Two, okay, so that's one more. So, wounding on threes. That's four hits, minus one. They have a five safe, so sixes. Two go. Okay, killing two. So, now those into the big unit in the middle. So, first the one with the, however the special arrow is called, hitting on a three. Hits, how many hits does he score? Six, that's nice. Okay, and the other four is um, three more hits. Plus. Five hits, so these are many hits. Wounding on threes. Okay, this is actually quite nice. Six wounds minus one. And you save a few. Two. Not bad, not bad. And um, then we're going into the to the Vanguard Raptors. Let's see who they can see. Yeah. I think they are also going to shoot at the middle unit. Heading on twos. So that's two sixes. That means that it's each two mortal wounds right away. Um, and this one hits and wounds. So you've got four mortal wounds and one save to make. But it's minus two rents and two damage, so it's just a, another one gone. So one shooter left to go. And that's my Lord Venator back there with his shots, and I'm going also to shoot at these grots here, hitting on twos, wounding on, I think, threes. Okay, that's nothing. Um, so now his birdie can still attack. So hitting on fours, that's two hits. Winning on threes, that's one wound, no rend. That's one. It's a one. Okay, it's one damage. I don't like these guys. <laughs> well, they've been mixed <laughs> so far, but some results very good. Um, so, battle shock, what you have to take here and here. Uh. There I'm going to do Inspiring Presence, so they don't because they lost five models. And mm -hmm. for them they have a six bravery, Yes. A seven bravery because they're ten models, because uh, they only lost two. Um, so I can still... I can, can fail on a six. On a, six yes. a five. So You're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, that means we're going to make the roll-off now. Who gets... Uh, the next turn. <laughs> well, okay, so um, that means I get a double turn, but you can move these scuttling suckers here again. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Some mortal wounds to be done here. Two mortal wounds. Okay, that kills uh, one. He's going to shine his light here at them. Um, my Lord Relictor. I'll still try to heal them here on a four. I get it, so they're fine. Um, I will pray bless weapons onto the Liberators. In this case now, I get it. Last time I forgot. But I don't know if it 
mattered anyway. And um, he is still not in a good place, so I'm not doing anything else with them. Okay, these judicators here moved over here, so they have a clear shot at the unit in the middle. Hamilcar and his boys here went <laughs> into this middle part and tried to meet the spiders head on. Um, well, they stood back here. Um, the Lord Relictor ran over here. Um, otherwise, we have some other movement going on here. And um, then we've got the Retributors here ready to take um, whatever comes next. <laughs> and um, yes, that's it for movement. So let's do some, some shooting again. Uh, let's start with the Judicators here uh, blazing away at this middle unit. So let's start with the Prime. Does he hit on a two? He hits how many shots? It's four hits for him. Okay. And um, otherwise we've got and eight more shots from the others. Hitting on threes. Okay. And um, then we've got the other special weapon hitting on threes. Hits. And how many extra hits? Is this Come on. Six <laughs> extra hits. Okay. <laughs> so these judicators are really good. So all these <laughs> are going to wound on threes. So if I do don't mess this up, the grots will bleed now. Okay, getting some twos here. Still a lot but of wounds. Still a lot of wounds, yes. Five, ten, eleven wounds here, minus one, so. So 10 moons, so 5 to head. So 5. Good shooting, guys. So the Vanguard Raptors here. The two that are left. I'll take my chances and we'll shoot at your scuttle boss here. Mm -hmm. I, does he have the monster keyboard? No. Okay. So then I'm hitting on threes. I hit. Wounding you on threes, I think. I do it, so it's minus two. Uh, six is open. One six. That's two damage then. So now I will try it. I will shoot the star faded arrow. It's just one shot into him. Hitting, oh, it's just one shot on a two. It hits. It wounds on a three. Wounds. He has still a save of five up here. Nope, you fail it. That means I've got d6 plus three damage now. <laughs> That's a six. That's a nine damage. I never did anything before with this shot. I really ever didn't do anything. Okay, these liberators back here will try attempt the charge. So I need a seven. I get a seven. And let's charge this, so I will activate them first and I will pile in with liberators, like so. Okay, they're going to swing, so it's nine attacks from the Prime and the liberators. And there's this one guy with the Grand Hammer and you might say, why doesn't the Prime have the Grand Hammer? And I'm telling you, I've modeled it this way, so I'm playing it that way. So, let's do the normal att attacks. Uh, heading on force. Okay, and wounding on threes. So that's four wounds, no rent. Fives. Okay, that's throwing one and putting one damage there. And the grand hammer hitting on force. Wounding on threes. It's one wound, minus one. 
Okay, that's two damage. Whack. Okay. And that's it for close combat for my turn, but you can pile in and swing back. And I will. Sure you will. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. The champion with his wooden spear, he's on his board. Hits on the four. Nope. And ten normal spear attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. On the fives. On the fives. Nothing. But now the dangerous attack will attacks will come. Twenty spider attacks. No, twenty-two actually. I have to reroll two. Sixes are mortals, they hit on the four, I think. One, two, five. Just check the fours. And two. And another two hits. So five mortal wounds don't do any more damage, and they wound on the four. So that's another three normal damage. Okay. So let's do this three up saves first, uh, four up saves here. Okay, one goes through, but uh, this is five mortal wounds plus one damage. So that's three whole bad liberators here. And the one damage goes into the Grand X guy. Yeah. <laughs> So one might question the general's decision <laughs> to send them <laughs> up front, but they're still standing. So let's hope they do they they make their battle shock test. Then it's at least something. Battle shock test. Uh, yes. Well, I will, I will have to do this here. Mm -hmm. I will make them uh, inspire them again with my last command point. I have two, one from the beginning and one because of the formation. I don't have a hero close, though. I'll just have to roll well here. Well, I don't think like that, because that's an 8, I don't think they I think they have 7. Yes, so bravery 7, so 1 goes away. So the prime is holding on. And for these, because there were two losses, they're fine. It's the end of Astral Templars turn 2, and now it's turn 2 for the Spider Fang Grunts. <laughs> Thing. He stays where it is. Hmm. Not good. We used it. Um, on the four plus, he gets a commando point. The oh, one again. I'm not rolling with these dice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, then he will want them to run, charge, and well, they can shoot, run, and charge. That's a six. And it's a seven. Because he gets plus one for his aura. That's it's a pass. pass. So they can now run, charge, and shoot if they want to. And what else is he going to do? Um, let's get the tag is done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. You'll try to Just try pass to the things. arcane okay. bolt. Exactly. Uh, An eight, eight, that's good enough. Yeah. That's one mortal wound. Yeah. Okay. And now he's going to do his. Uh, and call the moon or something. Yes, call the moon. On a three. Mm -hmm. um, Still have to fight him. I might shoot him. That's it. Still, right, right, <laughs> right. He's still and, shoot um, He's going to give out the command point you just got, and they can re-roll charges. Okay. Let's see if I can do something now. Movement phase. Okay, the movement phase done. The spiders have are starting their attack. So they have moved close here 
in the middle. A lot of things going on. So this large uh, blob of spiders have moved on here. The leader is behind here. The one Arachnarok is here. And they are still tied up in close combat with the one heroic liberator. And we didn't forget, so these units move close to one inch to the blessed terrain, but none of them roll the one. So no mortal wounds dished out. And now you can start with shooting. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 26 shots on you. Okay. Fives to hit. I'll just do the wounds as well. Fives to wound, one wound. Six Safe. Hits. Four hits. No. Nothing. Then okay. the shami is going to shoot on him with eight. Fives to hits. He's one motivated. Fives to wounds. One wound. Save it. More shooting. Those ten shots are going to shoot into the into the retributors. Okay. Fives to hits. Five to wound, one wound, one to wound. Oh, one wound. So I'm changing my back my dice. We were using the same one, uh, same one, so I decided to get some others, but they're rolling rubbish. So yes, Tim I, thinks I, that these are better. <laughs> so let's see <laughs> if it's true or not. <laughs> like every good at war game, I yes, there's some superstition. Superstition with dice rolling. Yes, probably. yes. <laughs> Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty are left. So forty shots. Okay. So because of my light, you have to reroll sixes against them. I have to be cans. <laughs> five to hit. Six <laughs> Many sixes, but you need to re reroll them, unfortunately. <laughs> So, so far, one hit. <laughs> what a roll! And that is five hits, six okay. hits, six hits, uh, wounds, sorry, six wounds. No, no six it still hits, hits. it still hits, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, so, luckily for me. <laughs> so, it's uh, two wounds. Okay. And the other two. The other two. I don't save one. And six. Then to re-roll. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Two. So that's one dead liberator in total. Right. 32 shots. These, right? Yes. Okay. So many dice. Fives and sixes. A lot of ones and twos. Okay. Uh, five wounds. Okay. Uh, I think it's just five some them. So. Okay. Three. So one dies and one gets a wound. Who and where? <laughs> um, so they're gonna charge first. Okay. Bring it on. Number seven. Okay, nice. I'll, I'll move them in a minute. I'll just put the dice down. Okay. Then the last units, you can re-roll if I need to. But with a twelve, they uh, don't. No need to re-roll here. <laughs> I'll just put them down there. Just a minute. The large one, the large spider. Yes. And you might charge. I don't know yet. A nine, so see where he can get. They don't need to charge, and I think that is it. Yeah, that's are your units actually. I'll roll because I'm moving over them. Yes, no, okay, they're fine. That was for the blessed wall, and then nine inches is just there. Taking on the retributors, so 12 inches now with them. He's dead, just laying there because this is going to be interesting how to get everybody. 
Yes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're there as well. Now think about it. You can get quite a few heroes hmm. in here. Just, yeah, I still need to stay within 12 inches of my boss line. Spiders. <laughs> There's no reason that they can't be like this. <laughs> I, I keep on forgetting me to Sigma as well, that you can stand on walls and be on walls. So, and with 12 inches, I can get it more or less everywhere. Yes. And those two. I'll just pop them there. Yeah, I'll just pop them there. Okay. Okay. Oh, they won't pop them there. Okay. Um, um, these? Seven. Seven inches. Speedies. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so now you'll have to decide where you strike first. I will strike with the big spider first before you guys. I think everything else. I think it's else, a wise decision. <laughs> I think everything else I can. Okay. Take the wounds. Okay. So they will fight first. A wounded spider here. So that's um, the war party is going to hit first. That is 8 10. So we have 10 attacks hitting on the 5. We'll on the 5. Two wounds. Okay. Force. Saying one, taking one. They have three left. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they wounded on the floor. Sorry. Um, then the legs, six attacks, hit on the four, mm -hmm. wound on the three, two minus one. Okay, fives. <gasps> How um, much damage? How much damage? One damage. It's just one damage one for damage. these legs? Yes. Okay. You cut off two. What? You shot off two. Okay. So. And then killing the fangs hit on the three. So um, that is D three mortal wounds. Oops. They wound okay. on the three and another yes, minus one. So okay. that's so two D three damage. Two D three damage. So that's three, five damage. Ouch. Okay. Killing one and killing another one. Kapow! Watch this. Don't hit my spiders. Let's assume this is the prime here. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. For a wounded spider. Yes. Well, now I have to fight somewhere. Okay, I decided to swing first with all of my liberators here. Strike uh, before as long as they can. Um, so I'm afraid that this one liberator in the middle won't be able to swing because of pylon shenanigans. Well, maybe, oh, but this is the closest model, so no, he can't. So these are my attacks. So these are all the attacks from the hammers. Hitting on fours. Okay. Got the worst result. Threes, very nice. That's five wounds, minus. minus nothing. So that's two dead. Okay, and the big hammer, fours, threes, no, it's two dead. Um, I will take those two. Yes. Just take those two. Then I will attack here. Five to hit. And five two wounds. Three wounds. Three wounds. So it's just judicators, so fives. Ah, the wound on the four. The wound on the four. So it's four wounds. Okay. It's four wounds, you remember? Yeah, no, that's that's the roll. Oh oh yes, yes, okay. Okay, great. So another wound. I keep on forgetting the spear's wound on the four. <laughs> okay. So I save one, I don't save three, though that's Two dead judicators here. Uh, 
And now for the hurdy part. Six is our mortals, force two hits. So we have one, two, three. Not a lot of mortals, but a lot of hits. So two I need to roll. So that's a lot of hits. Now force two wounds. Eh, not so good. Uh, so it's uh, three mortal wounds and three normal wounds. Okay, fives. Okay, so it's four, so it's two more dead. Yes, it could have been better, but it's still painful for them. Four dead. Uh, five dead this turn. So, they might run. So I'm going to pick Hamilcar here now. He's going to swing into the spiders. So it's three attacks. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Two. Minus one. One save. Two damage. One dead. Killing one. Good job, Hamilcar. Hamilcar. Yes. <laughs> Okay, then I will attack with them. Now the spiders get to swing. So, one, two, three, five, I think we'll hit on your boss. Yes, these here. Yeah. And the rest. So it's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 And spiders, eight. eleven. Yes. Eleven into the unit. So I'll do the unit first. Okay. So it's the crooked spears. They're allowed to reroll because of the command ability I put on. to re-roll the charge and yes, the okay, spears. Okay, okay. So that's 11. Um, the boss is, where is he? Uh, he's hitting your boss. Okay, that's all right. I can live with that. So fives to hit. And I can re-roll them. One more. One more. And that is uh, forced to wound, it's three wounds. Okay, and because I've shown my light on them, I've got I've got a three up safe here. That's one wound. So that's now twenty-two spider attacks. Fives and sixes are not the wounds because they're in with twelve and Three, to be the painful part. Three normal hits, wound number four, just one more. So one save. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. Nine. Eight wounds. Oh, nine plus the one. Nine. Oh, yes. nine. Nine, nine wounds. Uh, so that's four and a half men. <laughs> Many flashes go up to Azure. Four liberators go back. Yes. He hits on the uh, four and is allowed to reroll. Yes, he hits you, wounds you on the four, doesn't wound you. And then four normal goblins with their spears hit on the fives, allowed to reroll, and three hits and one wound. That's a safe. Three and six. Now the mortal wounds bit. So we have three mortal wounds. Okay. Four normal hits. And that's uh, three normal wounds as well. Okay, so three. I've uh, got the three up safe with him, I think. I fail one. So he gets four wounds. Put in the damage here. So I'm down to two. And uh, now I'm going to swing with my prime here, my the heroic prime, try to kill another spider. Okay. Well, one at least. Just one. One, one wound. wound. I bet he'll survive. <laughs> How much of a hero will he be? So. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spears. The champion is not there. Crooked wooden spears. On the fives. On the five. 
Yep, one. I will kill him. Yep. He got killed by wooden spear. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. I think uh, he's got a shield, so I think he can reroll that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still okay, so I'm going to swing back with these liberators. So let's go for it. Starting off with the prime. It's three attacks here because I'm an Astral Templar and this is a monster. I'm hitting on three and twos. So that's all hits. No blast to ashes though. Wounding on threes. <laughs> one. Uh, one minus one. A six. Okay. And uh, the Stasol Mice on a two. Six. So that's D3 plus one. So it's three damage on oh, the spider. It's still alive. It's still alive. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yay. How many wounds left? Two. <laughs> Damn it. And then I can swing back with these Judicators here. Okay, they're going to attack with their Storm Gladii. Uh, hitting on threes. Mm. Wounding on fours. Nothing. Nine. Okay. Oh, my Griffhound can still attack. Yep. I forgot about that one. Yay. Okay, so the Griffhound will attack threes and fours. A wild dog. <laughs> it's three wounds. Uh, minus nothing though. Too and safe. safe too. <laughs> so they're putting one damage onto these spiders. Okay, and because the spiders got too close to my Lord Relictor, I will pile him in and hit with him too. Okay, on a three. On a three. Whoa, nice. Minus one. Okay, so that's uh, three damage, uh, two damage. And now we're going into Battle Shock, let's say. Mm -hmm. Let's start with this situation here. Um, I'll start over here, it's easier for me. So I get a one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they stand. Um, these. <sighs> Yeah, I'm thinking about spending a command point here. <laughs> you lost three, you have seven, I think. Yeah. So I will spend a command point here to make them auto pass. And uh, I will roll for these. Uh, for these here. Ooh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Damn it. Six. Well, that was a very unfortunate roll, so these liberators dissolve and go back to Azur. Should have spent the other command point here, probably. So and that's it for me, but... I need to roll for the main unit. I lost six, I think. So that's seven. They're fine. Uh, I have four, five, six. I have at least ten seconds. They are just fine. They just lost... Uh, one, one I think, yes, but they are okay. They lost none, and the big one did not. Okay, that means we're rolling off now, I think. Mm. Double turn there. <laughs> no! <laughs> no one! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me move that endless bell here. Six inches, huh? Mm -hmm. here. That's really the only thing I can do. So it's turn three, starting with the spider thing. The moon, does the moon come? Does the moon move in? It does. But just somewhere here. Mm -hmm. We'll affect this area here, right? Yes. Hmm? At least my, I get plus one on magic. My, um, on the 4+, plus, he generates a command point, he does not generate a command point, but at least I'm not rolling ones. Um, magic, he will magic on them that they can run, move and charge. I get plus 2 this time, so it's definitely it's good. 9 there, it's enough, I think you need a 7 or seven. so for uh, that. Yeah. 
Okay, then he will do his own. Um, one is a casting value of a six, so I get plus two, so four. Then I can play, pick one Spider Fang unit, and that will do double mortal wounds. If I roll a ten or more, I can pick d3 friendly units that will do double mortal wounds. Okay, that sounds terrifying. So it's, it's definitely through, and I can pick one unit within 16 inches to do d3 mortal wounds. Oh, uh, to do double mortal wounds. Um, I can't pick them. I don't really need them. I will. So they're buffed. I will keep my command point and I think just because I can Mystic Shield. Okay. And then never cast it. With a 10. Why not? Okay. That was mine. That's the hero face and now we're going into movement. Some movement will happen, I guess. Over here or something. Mm -hmm. So they can run, so I will run. It's a six, so they have 18 inches. Diggy, diggy, diggy. <laughs> so I need to roll if I get mortal wounds. On a three. Nope. Nope. Only on a one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the big spider. Where will the big spider go? Big Nobody ass spider. Nobody knows. <laughs> He's gonna run. He's on the dice. So it's a two, so it's eleven inches he can move. So where am I going? Oh that's the flying flying shiny back there. <laughs> the flying Scotsman. Oh. My boss is going to do something as well. Hello, boss. See, he, he'll probably get mortal wounds now. No, <laughs> so far the blessed walls <laughs> have not done anything. Not been blessing much. <laughs> no. um, I think I have actually moved everything I can move. Okay, so shooting. Going to shoot with these first into the judicator, sir. Yes. Five to hit. Twenty-six okay. shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're motivated. Mm -hmm. So six hits so far. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits. And wound on the five. So that's four wounds. Just already four wound dice <laughs> here in my hand, <laughs> so saving on fives. None. Okay, that's two more dead. Uh, I'll do it like this. Okay. Here. Then no wait. Just do it like that. Okay, so everything that is here will shoot into Hamilcar, but you have to roll sixes because of his aura. Okay, so five to hit. That's hmm. a few fives. Just two sixes to reroll. And two sixes to reroll. That don't hit. So we have five hits so far. Same again. Five, six, seven. No, no six. Okay. Six, seven, seven. Five to wound. One wound. Which is safe. Okay. Um, then the 10 shots from there. One, two, three, Into the five, retributors. Six, ten. They are very motivated. Mm -hmm. Then five to wound. Just one. Which he saves. Good. Then. All of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're going to shoot on them, and those two are going to shoot on him. Oh, okay. So those are do the two first. It's <laughs> three hits. <laughs> and no wounds. So, and okay. 20 shots onto him. One, two, three, four, them. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Let's 
So that's three hits, four, five hits. I'm not so motivated. One win. Which I safe. Uh, the shooting phase was only good over there. <laughs> um, and the eight shots from the chamois into your boss. Mm -hmm. right, I think he has to be rolling sixes. Yes, as well. you need to roll the sixes because of the compressed light. Yeah, three sixes. <laughs> so it's only one. And no one. So okay. that's it. Shooting. Then the charges I have. Yes. They're going to charge. They can re roll. No, they can't. Well, just charge oh. and see what happens. So six. It's a six. It's a think because you have already moved well it doesn't matter whatever I'll roll nope see because <laughs> we did roll for him in the charge phase so yes it's so right real roll for him. but in that case the dice favor you so <laughs> uh, just with them in mode the boss will charge as well okay and he gets a six so on the raptors. Raptors. Okay. And I think that is one of my charges. Okay. So how are you going to swing with first? <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I can maybe save the big guy. <laughs> so they do double mortal wounds. This will be painful. Okay, six spears into the retributors. Hitting on the fives. One and wounding, wounding on a four. four. Yes. Oh. That's already one wound. So now the spiders. So four. Put it here. Six is twelve. So a lot of sixes I need now. Well, what the hell? Yeah, I think so, <laughs> that's... So that is uh, eight mortal wounds. <laughs> okay, they're just going <laughs> back home. <laughs> Bye. See, the dice change worked. Um, my boss is going to hit with the wooden spear. On the four. Nope. And one, two, three, four, five others. And one wound on him. It's not a safe, I think. I Okay. okay, the three up save is a save actually. So now about your mortal wounds. The mortal wounds. Oh no. So that's six mortal wounds. I think that's him already. Yes. Yes? Yeah, so he's got five wounds only. Ah! Oh, that's painful. <laughs> that's painful. Hey. A lot of spider feasting here. Uh, so, Hamilka's uh, troops have really shrunken to the middle here. <laughs> Got still a one unit incoming, but uh, will that unit be able to change the outcome? We shall see. So I'm going to use Hamilcar first and he's going to strike with his three attacks. Any on threes. Mooning on threes. One. Just one, minus one. Two damage. So. Um, I will do my boss. Okay. So his four attacks. This is the boss. On the four plus four plus. Five and six on mortal wounds. Um, so that's two mortal wounds. Already. Killing that one here. And the spider does the same. Uh, he does eight mortal wounds. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Okay, the, that guy is really a boss. Okay, then I'm going to swing with my Lord Relictor here. First four attacks on threes. 
That's three. On freeze again. That's two. Minus one. One save, one, one damage. One damage. Quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then I will attack here. Pile in. Pile in. Surrounded. Boss, so the boss is sitting on the fours. Wounding on the four. Yes, he wounds and hits. It's not a safe. And then 12 normal spears. Six. Um, fives. They're very motivated. And wounds on the four, so that's a four, so four wounds. Let's take these. I saved two, so three wounds so far. And then the spiders, they were 13, so one, two, three, four, six, six. Sixes are mortal wounds, so it's two mortal wounds, fours are hit. Okay. Uh, one wound. Two mortal. Save the one. So two mortals, so you have five wounds. Yeah, I've got one wound left here. Oh, he didn't do any mortals. Okay, I, the prime <laughs> might still do. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, he has to do two saves. So. On fives only. Ah, he just dies, he goes down. Ah. Just enough. Hey, I would have liked that. <laughs> okay, Judicate is wiped. I can still oh, yeah, hit with a Griffound. The Griffon attacks, four attacks, I think it was four threes or something like that. Well, not, not that. Not like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so pile in. Uh, yes, you need to pile in. So now everybody's back down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So. Okay. So, uh, five and six are mortal wounds. But I'll do the spears first. So the boss hits on the floor. Wounds on the floor. No. Nope. Um, then I said seven, so six no more. One wound hit. One wound. For my best. Safe. Safe. So the spiders that the two damage in the army. Yes. Two, Spiders are the dangerous ones. Come on, Hamilcar. Don't go down on me now. So let's see if we can kill him. Don't need much. No, that will do it. It's either they don't hit or they do not hit. Nothing in between. Okay, so Hamilcar goes back to Azure. I have to figure that mess out at another point. Battle shock, well, I don't have to do any battle shock I because do. I have three models left at this point. Um, yes. I lost one. That means we're going into Astral Templar, Templars turn three only. Let's see if my reinforcements can turn the tide around. It's the hero face of the Astral Templars, and it's really the hero face because these are three heroes that are left. Uh, <laughs> so first thing I will do with my uh, Knight uh, um, Heraldar here, I will uh, use the trumpet at this terrain piece because it will be a little bit of model wounds. We just measured it, so this one is within three inches, this one is within three inches. Uh, he is of course on it, and the big one, and the big one is also within three inches. So, okay, I'm not doing this now because it's in a shooting phase. Um, <laughs> so the banner, once we're in new phase. So I have to use the banner first. I can use the banner in the hero phase. Um, so I will take spot here, and I will take this 
let's say I just put right right this, and it gives a d two d six range for the meteor. That's seven, so that will just be this unit, this and that. And each of these units suffers d three mortal wounds. So on the fungoid, for two mortal wounds. Yeah, that's uh, a four save. Against. Yes, yes. So it says one. one, so it's one mortal wound. Now on these spiders here, they get three. That kills two, I think. Oh, I meant no. these actually, no. but it doesn't matter. No, and uh, I just. Just one wounded one? Yeah, and so he must go, and I will take. Just Okay, and now onto the big spider. Mm, that's just one mortal wound on the big one. Okay. Now. He can do the lightning storm. The lightning storm, he will do that onto this uh, scuttle bus. bus. Yes, it doesn't get it, <laughs> unfortunately. And um, it's my hero phase. So let's move them a little bit back. Just go here. You will maybe mm -hmm. go here. I will maybe try to engage your scuttle boss in melee, so I know it's. No, I won't. <laughs> 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 Let's reconsider that. <laughs> I won't. Um, he is where he is. Let's bring bring in the reinforcements. And at the end of the movement phase, the evocators have come. It's just one unit. And uh, I hope they will make a change here. Let's see, but we're going into the shooting phase first, and that's uh, important. Because now I'm going to use my trumpet here, and I'm going to trumpet at this thing. So he gets D3 model wounds for three. It's nice. He has one there. He has a four there. That's a, that's a four, yes. He still has one life. Ah. <laughs> ah. Unbelievable. I wish I had gotten yes, this lightning storm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then these spiders here. For three. And then the guy on top. For <laughs> three. So he has got a save. He saves two. Another mortal wound on him. And now on the big spiders. For <laughs> three. <laughs> Got one stupid lie left. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. I think that's it for the shooting phase. Going into charges. They're going to charge. I need a nine here. So let's hope they make it. It's quite important. No, they don't get it. Of course not. <laughs> so that doesn't look good now. Um, can go into other charges. I guess I will. I think now I will charge uh, your scuttle boss because he needs to die now. So this guy here will charge him. Very well. <laughs> okay. This goes here. And now let's see what I can do with him. Also a charge. It's a five. But. Hmm. Yeah. They still do double mortal wounds? I don't know, is it until the end Next of your hero phase? That's that's not good. Well maybe, maybe I don't charge with them then. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Let's go into close combat and I think I will hit here first because I want to kill him off. Okay, I will swing first with him. So it's four attacks. Hitting on fours. Ooh. Winning on threes. Oh, not killing him. That's a shame. <laughs> that's that's, that's bad, really bad. Ah, <sighs> dice gods, come on! <laughs> yeah, I just swapped your dice to mine. Yes, probably. <laughs> well, now you can pick a unit then. Um, I will pick the large unit. This one. Yeah. Well, that's basically the only one you can pick. Uh, I can't really pile in that much. Mm. He can't. I can turn him. Yes. But that's it. 
uh, and he can repair. He can Mm -hmm. and he can yes. That's and that's it. I can't do much more. I can't get around there because he will move away from him. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to kill the doggy. Okay, try. <laughs> I have four are going to hit the doggy. Mm -hmm. So the boss is hitting on the doggy on the fours. No. Uh, the three other ones. Is it three? Yeah. One hit and one wound on the dog. Griffin, okay. one wound. Don't think it's safe. And the spiders, which are the more important one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, they, they have. Five and six mm -hmm. So the two spears. Perfect. Yeah. And one wound. Oops, it does damage. The okay. two spiders. Do three, three mortal more. wounds. Ah, who's oh, lucky now? I am. <laughs> it's always like this in our games. Either you start off with bad luck yes. and then get better, yep. or I start off with bad luck and get better. <laughs> That's how it is. Okay. Well, then I can swing with my Lord Relictor here. Mm -hmm. Two hits. It's two. On the five, fives. Was it my node minus one? He has a hammer, so yes, yes. two damage. So killing one spider here. So the unit lost four, and then I think it's just the boss to hit. Uh, yes. Now you can kill off my standard bear right here. So it's two mortal wounds mm -hmm. from the boss himself, and then the spider does another the four mortal wounds. Six is enough to kill him. You don't deserve to march for Sigmar because you can not do one single wound. <laughs> Inspiring presence here from him. Or him or him, it doesn't matter, okay, yes. And then we roll off, I think. <sighs> I need this now. <laughs> Get a six. Yes, you can roll a six then. Oh yeah, no, you, you would be a double turn for you, so yeah. I need a six as well. <laughs> okay, but you can move the scuttle tide here. But it won't do that much. Well, it might actually still... I'll just move it in front of him. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go into my hero phase. My Lord Relictor is going to bless the weapons of these. On a four. Come on now. A one, of course. So then he's going to use Lightning Storm onto the Scuttle Boss. On a four. Yes, he does it. One mortal wound. You don't have a safe, right? Have you killed him? I have killed him. Thank goodness. Sigma. Finally. <laughs> no heroes, so... Let's go into movement. I will move these. So the evocators are moving in. For the evocators. The evocators, yes. Hopefully. <laughs> they will hopefully be good. And uh go here with them. Okay, now for the shooting phase, he's going to use the trumpet on this piece of terrain here. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, going to do some damage on them and them. And them. Well, yeah. this is not really part of for it. Three inches, yeah. Here. Oh, no, no, not just now. No, no. Because they moved. Okay, so these three mortal wounds on them. Three. And on them, so finally, hopefully, killing off this spider here. The big one. Two. And two. Okay. Oh. Squish the one. <laughs> Something. <laughs> okay, let's charge with the evocators. With a five. The evocators are going to swing first. 
So I've got three grand staves in here and uh, two blades and uh, storm staves. So first let's do the uh, blade and stave. So hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. That's three minus one. Okay, that's just one damage each. One damage. Yes. And now we're going for the... Now we're going for the big stays, for the grand stays. That's threes. And threes again. Okay, that's a bit better. That's five. The fives. Oops, that's ten damage. So now we see we see for the mortal wounds. So every four up is a mortal wound here. Uh, which is just three. Mortal wounds were a little bit of a letdown here, but otherwise, job well done. So I'm hoping for a really bad roll here. Um, so we have one wooden spear, that doesn't hit. One, two, three, four, four wooden spears, one hit, one wound. So that's only one mortal wound, but a lot of hits. And three wins. Okay, Lord Relictor. You need to be good on this. Oh. Not like that. Like that. Not like that. Oh, he's dead. Now okay. you can attack with your other spiders here. So they have the boss with his wooden spear. Doesn't hit. And the three normal ones. Uh, one hit. And one win. Don't. Reroll, yes. I think it, oh, is it just against shooting? Um, yeah, I don't know. I it doesn't matter in the end because I rolled two once. One, two, three, <laughs> so they do double mortal wounds still. Yes. So I hope no. for a lot of sixes. A lot of sixes. <laughs> three sixes. So that's six mortal wounds. Oh. That's good. And nothing. So six more problems. Okay. Killing. One. Two. Three. Quick correction on these. So they've got three wounds each, so I just put one back here. That's the end of turn four, I think, and it will be a Stormcast Eternal's turn four. Yes. So let's see if I fail my battle shock here. Oh, they have eight. Okay, great. So, there's still hope. Okay, th though it looks really grim, the Stormcast will keep fighting. Maybe some spiders run away. Um, oh, so they are very brave. No, yes, but I still lose models. I lost eight, so that's nine. I have a more of six, so three times. <laughs> and one more spider is left. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, they have to roll as well. They stay. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they know they're going to win. So yes, yes, they are very motivated. Okay, that's it. So let's go into turn four. Spider Fang rots. Okay, we'll see if the moon moves. In it moves too. Oh. Now he shoots over the middle and goes into the next quarter. Uh. <laughs> so the moon has done absolutely nothing. Yeah, well, that's because it's a spider grotz army. They just, the moon just doesn't really care about <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just one fungoid here. The moon thinks what's going on. I don't care. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I get an extra command point on the 4+, plus, yes, I do. So I have two this round from now on. And then I'm going to do some magic. 
He's going to do his um, moon. Call the moon. Call the, call the moon. Mm -hmm. There is a line of sight there. So let's see if I get it. No, I don't get it. <laughs> um, I can try to unbind something, I think. So. Yeah. so he's going to do that. So they can move and charge. Mm -hmm. And shoot. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, huh, will I try to deny it? I will just try with them. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, he's going to do that. They do double mortal wounds. Yeah, I should have kept that. But I wouldn't have been able to roll no, a 12 anyway. So. No, this is 10. Oh, yes, well, yeah. it's a 10. Mm. Okay, so that is that. Uh, that was my hero phase. Um, movement. They're going to run. Not far, so it's uh, still plus 2, so it's 13, 15 inches. More than enough to get down here. Yeah. Well, it's. Oh, it, it just does. The legs of the base is fit and it's just the legs. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Guys, don't build them though, with, <laughs> with the legs over or the base. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just going to stay up there. And they're going to run as well. They run six. More fast spiders here. Uh, so that is 18, 20 inches actually. Yeah, Won't be a problem. <laughs> I hope not. So. Shooting. Yes. Shoot. Yep, he's in range. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. On the fives. So it's two. One wound. Yeah, okay, one wound. Um, he's going to shoot into the evocators. Mm -hmm. One hit. One wound. It's a save. They're going to shoot into him. It's a shame they can do mortal wounds when they. It have been, would have been really hard. Ooh, that hurts as well. So that's five points. That's on them or them? On them. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wounds. So he's got a range. So he's dead. All five wounds, so he has been shot to death. Um, okay, now I have done my shooting. They are going to charge. Eight. Yes. Hey. We'll be able to put this around them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And I will just activate them straight away. Mm -hmm. So it's one, two, so there's. Uh, the wooden spear, the one hits and uh, doesn't wound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven normal guys with spears. And the fives. Nothing. And now the most important. Now the spiders. Eight. 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 Sixteen spiders. Six is on double mortal wounds because it's a spell on them. So there's a lot of hits. Eight mortal wounds. Hits. Eight mortal wounds. Hmm. That's them already dead. Yeah. You get still double mortal wounds. They get double from the magic uh, from here. Yes, right. You get it. Through. So that's them wiped. Okay, and um, that's how the game ends. 
<laughs> with the wipeout for the Stormcast Eternals. Well, sorry Stormcast Eternals players if I uh, disappointed you, but actually it's... Uh, I'm not uh, very... Um, well, I'm not very practiced with Stormcast, so... Uh, that's just how it went. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure the Grot fans will have enjoyed this spider domination thing here. <laughs> um, yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the game. As always, let us know how you liked it. I Did hope we didn't do any mistakes. I hope you didn't do any mistakes. Yes, <laughs> rather time, mistakes always around. mistakes always happen. So uh, it's no big deal. Um, otherwise, I hope you like uh, narrative scenarios. We want to play more of them, actually. So I hope they are to your liking. As always, like and subscribe to our channel, please, and activate the bell icon so you get notified when we have a new videos. And um, see you next time. Bye-bye.